Take three. making it work. With all the crazy stuff going on in the world right now with the coronavirus, we thought we would show you some different um, liquid hand soap and hand sanitizer. I know it's kind of hard to get some of these products right now, and I just scratched my nose, didn't I? Um, but if you, if you can get them, you can make the hand sanitizer and um, uh, liquid hand soap, stuff like that. But uh, we are working on a teardrop. Tim is out there working on it right now. And um, we hope to be done with it soon. We had hoped to be done with it and using it this week. But turns out, you know, it was kind of a mute point because those plans got canceled with the coronavirus stuff. And also our next plans have started to, you know, the reservations that we've made, those are starting to come in as, uh, you know, cancel, we'll send you a refund. But we'll figure out something. And in the meantime, I've got, let's make two different types of hand, hand soap, um, liquid hand soap. One is going to be from a bar soap and one is from Castile soap. So what I have in here is a cup of um, filtered water. It's important to use filtered or distilled. And if you're going to use filtered, make sure it's a really good filter because tap water just, it still has impurities in it that uh, will make the soap get kind of funky after a while. So I've got a cup of distilled water or um, filtered water and to that I am going to add a quarter cup of Castile soap. I don't know if all these people before the coronavirus weren't washing their hands or what, but we're washing our hands. And a tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. It just means that it stays liquid, that's all that means. And then 15 drops of um, your favorite essential oil, which you're supposed to use um, unscented Castile soap, but I think this has a scent in it, um, and I really like it, <laughs> so I'm just going to stick with that. But you just then put it in a, um, probably a foaming thing, which this was my sister-in-law's Thing, foaming, foaming hand soap, dispenser, <gasps> pouring it on the counter. Look at that, like a glove. It smells really good. And, ta-da! You rinse that off. Okay, the second one's a little more involved. I have, you need, you need some grated soap, but in my case, I've just kind of chopped some up. I used um, some slivers, some soap slivers that I had, and just kind of chopped them up into small pieces. We're going to use a quart of distilled or filtered water. Turn it on to medium heat. Add an ounce of grated soap. It says finely grated. And then you're just going to stir that as it heats. And then you can add essential oils to that one too, of course. And then as far as the hand sanitizer, that is going to be two-thirds of a cup of alcohol and we're talking about like rubbing alcohol so I've got that looks a little odd skip that part Let's go like this one third Two thirds, two thirds of a cup of alcohol, and 
Now, my daughter was able to find this aloe. They were unloading a truck and putting it out when she got there. And, ooh, that stuff is thick. I don't know if you can see that, but. Some aloe. And that is the gel part for sure. So a third of a cup of aloe, aloe gel, and I am going to use just a clean smelling blend. This is sort of the, the healthy blend of the kind that would be thieves, on guard, whatever. Um, I don't stick to just one particular essential oil company. Stir this up. Woo, that alcohol is strong. Let's get some more of this stuff in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to overpower the alcohol with the essential oil or not. It's probably a little bit runnier than um, than like commercial hand sanitizer, but I think it did work just fine. Put some on my hands and see here. Yeah. Hmm. I don't dislike that. And it the alcohol evaporates, and you can just smell the essential oil. Interesting. I like it. Okay, that was hand sanitizer. So we've done this first liquid hand soap, which was distilled water, Castile soap, fractionated coconut oil, and whatever um, essential oils that you want. Hand sanitizer, which was two-thirds cup of rubbing alcohol and a third cup of aloe gel, aloe vera gel. And then over here, it's starting to it's starting to melt already. This is one of those things that you just kind of have to stir for a while. So this is a quart of filtered or distilled water, an ounce of grated soap, and I'll link to my. Uh, homemade soap recipe at the end of this video. And just uh, heat it over medium heat and keep stirring it. And then uh, once, once the soap is all melted, you can add essential oils if you want to. Of course, I've already got them in it with, with the soap that I made. And um, you, let this, you let this cool, put it in a container, like I'm going to pour it back into this quart jar. Let it cool. And then you need to let it sit for about 24 hours because that's where it kind of gels up a little bit and gets thicker. But I will show you what it looks like once it's all melted. All right, this is melted finally. Get a hot pad to pour it into. So I'm just going to pour it back into the jar, let it cool. And then I'll add some essential oil to it, probably lavender. What I've, what I've discovered right now is that it just smells like the soap, like I didn't even put any essential oil in it. Like the way the soap smells when I, before I add that to it. And then the dog hair. No extra charge for dog hair around here. Oh, it's going everywhere. And it's hot. Like I said, just going to let that cool. And there you have a hand sanitizer and two different hand, liquid hand soaps. Um, super, super cheap to make. 
and um, they, they smell good, they're natural. Um, this one, these two things were the easiest. The hand sanitizer was super easy, just the two, two different ingredients. And this one was three ingredients. This one was easy enough, only two ingredients, but um, it was soap that I already had made. And um, it did take a while as far as grading up the soap and, um, you know, m melting it over the, over the stove. But anyway, there you have hand sanitizer and liquid hand soap. Thanks for watching this episode of Making It Work. Y'all be safe and be well.